Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being along this road with me. It's truly a blessing being able to know that, you know, we all can relate one way or another. You know, we're going through all these crazy shifts and it's just a blessing. And I know y'all probably hear me say that a lot. It, it really is, but it is a blessing to know that we all can relate towards each other's situation one way or another. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up here, you know, telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and heading you toward the positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now, need confirmation or validation towards their life purpose or even their, you know, their soul path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, today, my video uh, meditation music is by Infinite Waters, one of my favorite, you know, mentors and, you know, motivational speakers that has helped me along the way. Um, it is 432 hertz of DNA healing, chakra cleansing, meditation, relaxation music too. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101 Heokas. Oftentimes we attract those in desperate need of what we truly are. And that is true. You know, we're going on the spiritual journey. We're going on our soul path. You know, actually listening to our soul, allowing that to guide us, the information that comes towards us. And, you know, I made a video. It was probably like week before last or last week. You know, I do like six or seven videos a day at times. Sometimes I make three or four. Sometimes I make eight or nine and sometimes ten. You know, it just depends. But I said the other day, uh, well, when I made the video, there's two types of people comes in our life. Either they're mirroring to us the things that we need to look out for when it comes to ourselves, what we're projecting out to the world, or there's people that's leading us on to that next chapter of our life, which is true, you know, because when I love when people come towards me and it's just like when I first started this, people start asking me questions. I used to get nervous, like, you know, am I telling them the right thing or, you know, um, I don't really know much about this. You know, I'm just going, you know, just playing it by ear. <laughs> you know, then I used to be really real with people like that. And I still am. But it's just like at that time, I was new to the game, you know, not knowing what my spiritual journey had in store for me. But it was just like I prayed, I meditated, you know, I allow my spirit guides, my father as well, lead me towards certain things that I desperately needed the answers for. And being able to see two, two and a half on on my third year of doing this is truly a blessing, even though I go through some hellish times. It, it brings out a positive outcome towards this, the, you know, the tra traumatic situation I've been placed in. Being able to use my life experience as a platform to help other people along the way is really a blessing to me. You know, when people come at me and they ask me, you know, Rosalind, is this and this and that? You know, if I don't know the answer, I'm going to go look it up for you. Or, you know, I at least guide you towards that situation like, hey, you know, you might need to pay attention to this and this in your life because it's like so many people have sent me you know, um, comments like Rosalind, you know, I'm starting to see myself for my worth or I'm starting to become comfortable with my, you know, my gifts or, you know, I'm able to push myself out of comfort zones that was so hard for me to do before I start watching your videos. And that really gave me purpose because like I said, universe already knew <laughs> what I was doing. You know, the first I was making my video diaries to myself you know and then it was like I, I've been watching YouTube for a while and never thought you know I, I didn't know if I was gonna gravitate towards that way but watching Victor Otto uh, watching Ralph Smart from Infinite Waters um, uh, Trent Shelton on, on Facebook you know uh, Jay Shady 
you know he used to be a monk and i mean he brings out beautiful videos and i knew there was another one van pan something i forgot he's another guy i just got recently introduced to you know there was you know when you're on youtube they recommend certain things in the categories that you pick so it is just like I, they motivate me looking at certain things you know that guides towards my way and it's just like yes you know i love what they do and i'm doing that too you know being able to you know heal myself you know because there are certain times i've seen posts say you have to heal yourself then you have to be able to help people but that's not what god had in store for me that was not what universe had in store for me it's like okay you go through these experiences you place them in videos you know you allow yourself to be vulnerable opening up yourself to let people know nobody's perfect you know you're working on yourself even each and every day yes it gets hard at times you want to give up but there's that urge that keeps making you go. You know, even though you're like, bump it to hell with this. I don't want to do it no more. Probably next couple of hours, you're, you're already, in your brain is already turning. You know, I have to do this. You know, it's just like, yes, you're tired. Yes, we get tired. <laughs> you get frustrated because you're tired of hitting a brick wall and you're not getting anything. But you truly are. You're learning more about yourself. You're learning more about the gifts. You probably have more gifts that hasn't even came about yet, but you have to keep going for you to be able to find out where is that road taking you. You know, when you start learning on your journey, yeah, that walk might, you never know how far that road is going to lead you lead you out. But you already know in your gut feeling that, that the, you know, universe, God, source, whoever you, you know, you worship to, is not leading you out here to pasture. But it's just allow you to know, okay, certain situations have brought you here. You know, you have been affected in a very traumatic way. But this trauma is going to allow you to see the strength in you. You never was able to do before. Allow you to have more self-respect for yourself. Because you've probably been in situations where you were that that person that you, you kept giving people chances and chances and chances. And when they did that, they ran over you. So that allow you to know your worth. Like, you know what? Hey, if you're not rocking me where you're supposed to be rocking with me, I have to part ways. I can still send you blessings, but it's not going to be the way I did before. You know, you have to be able to let yourself go. You know, you don't have time to convince anybody. If they're going to be supportive to you, they're going to support you. If not, hey, <laughs> you know, you still have to go. But it's just like all your situations is teaching you something very positive that you need to enhance within yourself. You need to heal within yourself. Or there's things that you need to know about yourself or know about your surroundings. Things are popping off. Things are happening. We are all these crazy things are going on in the world and they're needing impasse alert for these. So you're going through all these hellish situations, but along that path, you had to go through that hell. You had to do this because when, you know, with us being empath, people just open it up to anyway. You know, they want to tell us our life story. You're like, what the heck are you telling me all this for? I don't, I didn't ask you. But, you know, it, it, but that, those people were sent towards your way. Those are the people you were supposed to help. You know, and it's not always the fact is they're mirroring something to you about yourself that you need to change or you need to pay attention to. A lot of times you have healed so much. There's somebody along the way that's lost and don't understand. They were where you were at when you first started. So it's just like I see a lot of y'all in me, you know, where I didn't know. Uh, I, I didn't know where to go. It was just like, you know, I had to learn all these things on my own. You know, there was nobody really open to tell me about stuff. A lot of people seen that strength in me that they didn't want me to see. So they weren't going to help me. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You ain't got to help me. You know, I'll, I'll find it some way, you know, and I never gave up, even though there's times I had to take a break. But I learned from those times as I was sitting on the bench. <laughs> you know, I was learning that, you know, I was still educating myself. Y'all got frustrated. I got aggravated. Wanted to give up so many times, but that button just, mm -mm, get back up. You got more stuff to do. You know, so I love the fact is I did that because it would it brought me a very long way. I'm helping other people. I love, like I tell y'all, I love doing counseling with y'all on the sidelines. There's not a lot of people that, you know, that want to be open to tell their business out there, but it's a beautiful blessing where people trust me and to where you know they ask me for advice not always you know i'll keep it real with you but i'll keep you to that point where i'm getting you know encouraging you because I, I you know my love bugs y'all know 
you're like, Rosalind, I'm broken. I'm going through this. I still, yes, you still got a lot to learn. Hell, I still got a lot to learn. But you have came a long way. You are not that person that started this. You have came a long way. So you have to be able to give yourself that credit when credit's due. You might not be exactly where you want to be at right now, but you sure ain't the same person that just started. Because, I, you know, I've seen we were all a hot mess. <laughs> when we all got together but when you know you can see the things like okay you're going back and certain things you're remembering it yes okay but when you take that emotion out of it and say you know what this situation really hurt the mess out of me but you know how much stuff I learned like I can tell y'all you've been rocking with me for over a year you know the situations I've been placed in it wasn't fair no it wasn't but you know for my family sitting up here abusing me the way they did it allowed me to have strength in places I never thought I was it was like now they you know with my incident that just happened last week these folks are more scared of me than I'm I mean they don't pump no fear in my heart but I pump the hell out of theirs though I can feel that I don't want them to be scared of me but just for the fact is I'm calm when when people are calm when they expect you to be enraged that's the most scariest feeling because they know what they did they know what they did, but I did not allow them to see the anger in me because that anger does not live there anymore. It's all love. You know, I forgive you. You just ain't eating at the same table as me. I ain't got time for all that. I don't trust you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't wish no ill will on nobody. What you put out is what you get back anyway. So I make sure I put out love and light. I, you know, even though I could, the old Rosal wanted to come out so bad and cuss you out and say certain things, even though it was like certain things you say and it was like cringeworthy. But I learned from that. I learned from that. They used to tell me, don't ever get, you know, when somebody did something to you that hurt you so bad, don't get angry, don't get mad because they never see it when it's coming. Do you realize everything you taught me, I'm using it against you. <laughs> everything you, I'm like, oh, let it go. And I did exactly what it did. And it was just like I like I told y'all before, I know I was the topic of discussion all the way home. You know, because it's just like when people have did things to you and you're not enraged and you're able to face that monster in your closet like that and allow that, take your power back. You're not allowing that to fear you anymore because they can't they can't they can't get that. They can't pull, you know, yank your chain like they used to. You got that, you know, you ain't even got no chain on no more. So they got nothing to yank. So it's like, yeah, I went through hell. You know, if you're just now subbing to me or whatever, you have to go back in certain videos because it's like I ain't going to keep breaking this up. You know, I've really learned from my abuse. It has helped me heal. Even though I'm still healing, I took my power back. That was the major thing I was supposed to do. Now, the rest of it, you know, memories come up. It doesn't have any power over me. You don't rock no boats here with me no more. I'm allowing you to just go. <laughs> go like a balloon you know but those situations has taught me those situations has uplifted me because never again will I allow anybody to ever hurt me like that again I didn't put no now at times I did put walls up but I just don't have that time I'm not gonna put walls up because when I put walls up that's allowing me to block the good blessings that's coming in because I'm putting the walls up but my experience had to be that thing that educated me had to let me know that you are stronger than the things that they try to place upon you that was the whole point you know i'm stronger than i ever thought i could possibly be being able to say yes i've lost my father i don't have my mother my mother is in heaven my biological mother has blocked me but that's okay i'm still going i'm not giving up i'm still making love and light i'm still educating myself as well as i'm educating you to let you know things have been placed in your life but you will be okay you will be okay when you know you're gonna be okay you know you'll be okay and that's when you you you, you start going because it's just like you have to give yourself when credit's due when you can see the things that has hurt you and you're like okay these are the, this and this and this and this that hurt me I'm trying to heal from these things. That's where your starting of your strength is coming back at because you know the things that trigger you and you're trying to allow yourself to take that emotion back so it don't trigger you anymore. So it's just like I look at myself and I say I'm proud, but you only got to keep saying it all the time because it's like you're still reliving that whole situation. So you have to be able to let that go. It served its purpose. You had to, the whole purpose on you, for me, you know, being around my, you know, my mom's ex husband and his wife gave him a hug and everything even though I was just like Ugh, hey you know just left it at that 
You know what I'm saying? But that was the best blessing that I could ever give myself is to take my power back and say, yeah, y'all put me through a whole bunch of hell, but guess what? I'm still here. You know, I went color purple on them. <laughs> I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? So I love the fact that I've been through this situation because this situation has educated me to the point where like, God, dog, look at y'all flying stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm good. You know, I'm stronger than I ever imagined I would be because it's like, if y'all been with me for a while, you have seen me like bring up my dad and I'll start breaking down crying. You know, even though there's times I still do, but it's like, because I'm talking to him and it's like, I'm, I'm pouring out my heart because that's what we need to hear because it's like so much stuff has been bottled up for so many times. So that love is allowed to reciprocate and that's the blessing that's coming out of that situation. So when you're going through the things you're going through, yes, it hurts like hell to be abused in any kind of way. And that's why I send y'all so much love and pray that you get yourself out of this situation because you deserve happiness. You know, if you have shut yourself down because you might've been in a, a, a toxic marriage, you still deserve love. There's still, there's gonna be a person out there that's for you, but it's just the fact is, you have to be able to love yourself in all measures, all areas. When you know you have loved yourself in each and every way, that's when the universe is going to bring that person to you because they're working on themselves too so they can be that better person for you. You know, a lot of times we have been in situations where it allow us not to have friends. Like, I'm just like, I'm cool for right now. You know, whatever happens, I say I communicate with y'all. I don't got all these sidelines. I don't talk to nobody. You know, unless it's like one-on-one -on -one, with youtube family other than that i'm good you know what i'm saying if there's somebody meant to be in my life they'll be meant to my life but if i start having them spidery ting tingles about you hey you gonna have to go on about your business because i ain't about to rock that way i ain't even about to waste my time but all those situations is happening for you to be able to respect yourself find your self-worth educate yourself on your spiritual awakening educate yourself on your spiritual gifts not allow the things that has been placed in your life to break you down in so many different levels. Be that thing that's going to lift you up. That's going to be your milestone. Is you say, yeah, this mess happened to me, but you know what? I'm stronger. I'm wiser. And I learned a lot more from this pain than anything else would have taught me. And that's how you got to keep it real to yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video because then I got deep with it. I'm like, dang, it's almost 18 minutes. It probably take about four days for this to get out. But, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to even say no outro, but you, you know, much love to you. Hope you have a safe weekend. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. You know, drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.